So it looks like the PC market has collapsed. I'm gonna show you guys some examples. The prices are ridiculously low. We're gonna talk about GPUs and CPUs. Look at this. This is the AMD Ryzen. Now this, first I saw it on Amazon and then I checked Micro Center to see if there are any similar deals. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is a Ryzen 9 7900X. That's the latest CPU aside from the X3D ones. This is a monster CPU by any to the imagination and it's selling at micro center for 349 dollars if that wasn't enough you also get a free 32 gig ram the ddr5 6000 like i'm almost i don't even know what to say that's ridiculously cheap i mean 32 gigabytes of ddr5 ram and the CPU, 350 bucks, that's it. That's like ridiculous. I remember when the 7950X came out, I was stupid enough to be one of the only few people that bought it that first day. And within one week, they had to discount it by offering that free RAM bundle that we've seen. But even that was still, you know, sort of expensive. I've never seen it come down this low, $349 with RAM. I mean, even if you valued that RAM at like $100, you're getting a 7900X for $250. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Jawa.gg. Jawa is a terrific place where gamers can have a community where they can discuss, buy, sell, and even plan the builds that they're doing. You can even sell directly to Jawa. That way you can offset the cost of whatever new GPU you want to buy. I've even listed a GPU on Jawa myself. Jawa also has a pretty expansive community, such as on Discord, the weekly build emails. It's really, truly a nicely curated game community where you can buy, sell, and learn about PC building. Something that's going to be very important in the current PC building climate that we are in now. They have verified sellers if you'd like to put something together and have a build done for you. So remember to check out Jawa. Use the link in the description below, Welcome 10, and you'll get a nice $10 discount off of your first order. And now let's go back to the video. What can you get for $250? That's like a ridiculously low price. That shows you that the PC market has absolutely collapsed. I mean, if you keep looking at the deals, it's almost ridiculous. They have one for $449. And then this one, you're going to get a 7700X, but you also get the RAM and the motherboard. That's literally the biggest components of your build aside from the GPU. And they even have GPUs like a 6950XT. Oddly enough, a lot of people started to recommend this instead of things like the RTX 4. 70 because it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM and I don't blame you as much as I like some Nvidia GPUs for ray tracing and things like that you cannot beat the value of these GPUs in fact I'm going to be testing the 6700 XT which is another great value at under $300 that's been beating a lot of the new Nvidia stuff including the 4060 Ti or at least coming pretty close so this deal with the 6950 XT if you buy a CPU $599. That's a price of the 4070, and that's the fastest AMD GPU from the RX 6000 generation. So if you put everything together, $600 for a really fast GPU, and then even if you take that other deal, let's say 450 bucks, you get the motherboard, a 7700X, which is a really fast gaming CPU, and you get the RAM. I mean, that's already like around 1050 All you got to do is add a little bit more for like, you know, a cheap NVMe drive, maybe a case and power supply. You could conceivably build an extremely fast gaming PC for like twelve or $1,300 at most with these type of deals. Remember when most like really good gaming PCs seem to be way over $2,000? Well, if you price these, you know, but they're still premium components, even though they came out a little bit while back. So that's like twelve or $1,300 for what is a really fast computer for gaming. A 6950X, I mean, that beats the 4070 in most games, aside from maybe like ray tracing, not to mention a 7700X. Very, very good deal. I mean, you can keep checking even the brand new 7900X3D, which is not something I recommend you buy, as the 7800X3D is a lot better for cheaper. Even that just went all the way down to $499. So that's the latest and greatest, and that's also 
also on sale. And the reason is that people are not buying. That's how you know the PC market is in literally utter collapse. But I know what you're saying. Some of these, you know, the best deals obviously are limited to Micro Center as we saw there. But even checking around, like Amazon had that 7900X for $270. That's still a very crazy price. It's not nearly as good a deal as with the free RAM. But if you already have the RAM, and that's a really good upgrade for a lot of people that maybe bought like the 7600X or something like that when it first came out. Remember, 5600X was like $299. And that's a very, very different CPU than a 7900X. You're talking about way, way different category of a CPU for under the price of what a 7600X just was recently. So that's a pretty incredible deal. Even checking on Newegg and Amazon and various places, GPUs finally are still getting some sales. Not everything, like a 4070, usually, unless you catch one that's like $575, which I've seen, most of them are still around the MSRP. Of course, 4060 Ti being brand new is also pretty high. Something that's been happening though is the RTX 3000 is finally going down a little bit, at least. There have been different reports of people seeing RTX like 3060s in the mid 200 range, 200 to 200 and something, as well as 3060 Ti is finally getting closer to that $300 range. I mean, it's about time. NVIDIA is about to release very, very soon the rest of the RTX 4000 lineup, including a 299-4060. So when that GPU hits, you better not have any 3060s within any type of distance of that GPU. And the 3060 Ti, also with the release of the 4060 Ti, has to come down in price even more. These GPUs have been slowly coming down in price, not as fast as I thought, but at least it's something to see that it's finally going down. I mean, even Intel started off what seemed to be a really big movement in these price drops with the A750. And I do have one here that I'm testing. This is actually the A770, the 16 gigabyte model. Now, this GPU does great in some scenarios. And then sometimes, like I was trying to play this on The Last of Us, which isn't the best optimized game, but it wouldn't even open on this GPU and the latest drivers. I don't know if it's a game update, but like I couldn't even open the game. Some games that do open, that it does perform pretty well and the driver team has done a good job at making it better. But $199 for the A750 version, remember that's still gonna be eight gigabytes of VRAM, I mean, for that price, you're gonna be very competitive with a lot of these other GPUs that are still 300 plus dollars. But obviously the 4060 Ti showed us that this is still a pretty good GPU as well, the 6700 XT. So there are some bargains to be had of last generation. Now, the 7600, that's too new to be on sale, but at 269, it's a little bit better price than we would have thought at like 299. So at least it's something, even though it's not a very remarkable GPU, it's not really giving you any Anything new or anything that a 6700 XT can't do. And remember, the 6700 XT has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. That's a nice little buffer. That makes a big difference between 8 and 10. Even some of these games that I'm playing at 1440p, you're really crushing that VRAM. And then when that fills up, it goes over into your system RAM. You start getting some, you know, sputters and some, some stuttering. So that's something that I've just tested. And it's definitely something that happens. But I think by now, you guys know that 8 gigabyte GPUs just aren't aren't that great. And then of course, if we zoom out, I mean, these are just the deals that we're seeing as a result of PC sales and the PC market really collapsing. You can see, I even saw like Lenovo is down 75% in terms of their sales. And but you could look at anybody, Dell, all the big system you know, manufacturers. You could even look at Apple. They've been down a considerable amount as well. People just aren't buying PCs. Maybe they got way too many during you know the, the pandemic when everything went up. Maybe they don't need to upgrade. And obviously, Obviously, we know as enthusiasts that the prices went up way too sharply and way too high. That's why a lot of gamers aren't buying GPUs, not to mention the general economy is not doing that great as well. But I must say, if prices are already getting this low, I don't even want to see or I do want to see what's going to happen by the end of the year, like Black Friday deals and the holidays. We're probably going to see the best PC you know, component prices that we've seen in several years. I mean, right now is some of the best pricing you can find. Who would think? 
you could get free RAM and a 7900X. That's a very new CPU for 350 bucks. That's like an extraordinary value. So that's already the best that we've ever seen, I think. So you can see, hopefully it's getting better. And these companies learn, you know, how to make products that consumers want to buy at fair prices because we've really been gouged during the last several years. And these companies are making profits in the billions of dollars. So it's really unnecessary with all the other, you know, data centers and AI like Nvidia has not necessary to gouge the consumer. It just makes people really angry. You can see the reactions to Nvidia are often not very positive because of all of these consumer and you know price gouging issues. All right, guys, so what do you think about these deals? Are you as maybe surprised, excited, worried that the PC market is collapsing? Is it a good or bad thing? Let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.